Hi everybody, I'm Michael. Today we're gonna to be talking about the flamboyant tree and how you could grow her in your garden if you got a lot of room or use her as a street tree. So, you ready to dig in? Let's grow. This spectacular tree goes by the botanical name Delonyx regia. She has several common names. The most common are the flamboyant tree, and also she goes by the common name of Royal Point Sienna. She is native to Madagascar, and she can form these enormous canopies up to 60 feet across or more. And usually she'll get up to about 40, 45 feet tall. This is a very large shade tree. She grows best in South Florida from zones 10B through 11. And her two main features are her beautiful feathery bipinnate leaves. And of course, the spectacular flowers that, that cover the entire tree. The flowers are a deep orange red color and the center of the flowers have a very similar look to a Cattleya orchid. It has this beautiful white and red tinged center. So pretty. She will start flowering for you from about mid-May all the way through July. And when she does, it's a showstopper. These beautiful flamboyant trees are grown on historic South Miami Avenue. So let's go take a drive and show you these guys up close. After we're done with our little drive here, we're gonna rotate over into plant care so you can learn how to take care of your flamboyant tree. On plant care, let's first talk about lighting. Your flamboyant tree wants full sun. That's gonna help produce these wonderful, wonderful flowers. You will need to be strategic in where you place your flamboyant tree because they get so large. So if you have a large open area in your backyard that you wanna use as like a major focal point, this would be a great tree. But remember, like I mentioned earlier, that these things can get 60 feet across. So you've got to make sure you don't crowd them out with other trees because that will affect how much blooms you get because they'll all be competing for the sunlight. Now let's talk a little bit about tree placement. You're going to want to keep your tree at least eight feet away from a sidewalk or a curb and at least 15 feet away from a home. So the roots as they grow out, don't disturb any of those foundations. On soil type, your flamboyant tree is tolerant of a wide range of soils. You just don't want to plant her near the coast because this tree is only partially salt tolerant. On watering, you can water three times a week with normal irrigation, but you don't have to. This tree is quite drought tolerant. Once it's established, you really don't need to worry about that. On fertilizing, you don't necessarily need to fertilize this tree once she gets growing but you can add a bloom booster, an organic bloom booster, a, a 394 we recommend in April to kind of help get her ready for the blooming cycle. But always make sure you check with your municipality because there are some ordinances on adding fertilizers now. It will take a few years before your tree starts to flower. Your tree has to get adapted to your yard, but when she does, watch out. <laughs> Speaking to pest issues, this tree doesn't really have many, so she's really tough in that regard. Now, one more thing I want to touch base on is that you can form your tree to be more upright like this, or you can let her just spread out and become this long, umbrella-shaped tree. But you do need to check periodically and remove any cross branching. As you can see, I'm pointing out some areas here. Because by doing so, this will give your tree a nice uniform look, and it also helps her do well when faced with a storm. Okay, now we're gonna rotate over into in-depth instructions where I have all this written out for you so you can take a screenshot and then we'll come back and do a quick closing at the end. All right, let's go into that step.
We all want to thank you for joining us today. If you have any thoughts or questions, just leave them in the comment section below and we'll make sure we get back to you. And until the next video, bye. If you found value in this video, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. We post weekly. Thanks.